You can use a limiter on an individual track, but it's even cooler to use a limiter on your entire mix. And I'm gonna show you both of those now. The AU limiter. Wait, what? What's the AU limiter? Why would I use it? The AU limiter is a limiter plugin built in to GarageBand and it's very cool. So if we go to our plugins and EQ, we tap on this one here, we go to edit and we hit the plus button here. Now you've got all your regular effects here and you've got your audio unit extensions. Now, if you scroll down to the bottom of all your audio unit extensions, you got all these orange ones, yeah? Now, you'll need to turn these on before you can use them and I'll show you that in a moment in case you haven't done it already. But the one that I like the most is this one, the AU Peak Limiter. I use this all the time. Why? Because it's like a compressor crossed with a volume dial. It can turn up your sound without it clipping. So it's got, it's what we call a brick wall limiter. So if you've got a sound that you want to get a little bit of oomph out of, and you don't want to mess around with compressors that you might overload, or you don't want to turn your volume up because you're putting your gain up too high and it's clipping, a limiter is what you want. But let's go in and see where we actually enable this because we have to go all the way out of GarageBand to actually go into our settings to enable it. So if we go here to settings, what we're going to do is scroll down here on the left until we get to GarageBand. So scrolling, 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 there's GarageBand. And now if we come down over here, what we need to do is make sure that this is enabled, enable iOS effect plugins. So tap that one, go back to your GarageBand. You may need to close GarageBand and reopen it again, but then when you go back into your GarageBand, you'll have all of these. So if you're trying to do this, but you come in here and you got no orange, you don't have these ones down here, then that's what you need to do to get them enabled. Once you've got them enabled, you can start using them. So let's uh, let's go back here, we hit done. So we'll use this track. So this is, um, actually, no, that's a bad idea. Let's use this organ track that we created before and do some limiting on this sucker, shall we? So this is what our organ track sounds like at the moment. It's a bit like this. Oh yeah. Pretty cool, yeah? So we've got a nice organ track on there. If we want to add a limiter, what we do is we go, we'll take you one step back. So. We've got our organ track there, we select it, we tap on the plugins and EQ, and then we tap on plugins and EQ. We hit the edit button, and we hit the plus button. Now I'm gonna put it down here. Your limiter you wanna put at the bottom of your plugin chain, because it's basically, it's the last step. You do all your processing up here, and then you wanna add it last. So I'll put it last here, just in case I put anything else on above it. We'll scroll on down, and we'll go AU peak limiter. Now when we go in here, you don't have a whole lot of options here, yeah? You've got your attack and your release, and then you've got your pre-gain. So what do these mean? Attack is how quickly the limiter will be engaged. So when it hits the threshold where the limiter's kicking in, which is set here with this pre-gain, it'll tell it either kick in straight away, as soon as it dips up above that, which is your attack right down here at 0.001, or the longer you make this attack, a slower attack means it will be a little bit more conservative. So depending whether you want a really fast attack, you want it to kick in or not, you'll do that. Your release is your opposite. So your release with it right down here means as soon as that volume drops back down again, your compression goes away, your limiting goes away. If you want it to stay on a little bit, just hang around a bit because it may be about to come back and be loud again, then you'll have that a little bit slower. So what you generally want is for, for a limiter, I tend to use a slightly slower attack and a slightly quicker release because I want it to be a bit smoother. You can do some hard limiting, but I tend to smoothen it out a little bit here. So then we've got our pre-gain here, and this is the, the star of the show. So we can basically turn this up or turn this down. You're generally gonna turn it up, and this is what will add the limiting. So let's play this organ track again, and turn this up. So you can probably hear there that it's getting louder, but the difference between just turning your volume up down here is that as we turn it up, it's not gonna start clipping and it's hopefully not gonna get too harsh. We've chosen a bad instrument because the organ's already a bit harsh, but what it can do is it can just you know, give you that nice bit of additional gain there without having to mess around with too many compression settings or without having to turn up your volume. So very handy to use on an individual track, but even better to use on an overall track. A quick way to do this, by the way, a quick way to mix down your tracks is to use the merge feature, which we talked about earlier. So we can merge down all of these tracks into one track. And this will just make it a really quick way for us to show this limiter. Boom. So now you can see we've got this track together in one track. 
And that's pretty good. Like it's, it's, it's up there. But what I'd probably do with this is to smooth out those peaks. I'd do this. We'd come in here to the mixer. We'd go to plugins and EQ. Again, edit, add audio unit extensions, scroll on down to the AU peak limiter. And now we can basically use this to master this track. So we'll just sort of slow down the attack a bit, quicken up the release time, and then let's play this track and we'll uh, add this pregain. <laughs> So again, you're just getting a fuller sound, but you're also able to limit it at that level. So when you go then to export this sound, instead of getting a lot of peaks up and down, it'll be a bit more of a sausage waveform, and that can really help you for when you are mastering a track and when you want a more level output of sound. So there you go, the AU Peak Limiter. It's a very simple plugin, but it's super, super effective, and even better than that, it's free.